Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about how to draw Feynman diagrams. Now I'm going to do an example for a strong interaction, a weak interaction and an electromagnetic interaction. So a Feynman diagram is a diagram to represent interactions between particles and more importantly it does show things like the exchange particle and that passage in time. So a Feynman diagram has two axes time on the y and space on the x and this means that time flows from zero to wherever. So I'm going to take this electromagnetic interaction and reminder that the exchange particle for an electromagnetic interaction is a virtual photon. An electron comes in and it, a virtual photon takes some of its energy away and this electron would move off in a different direction. Now another electron comes in and this feels this extra energy, this, this energy that's been transferred. And this virtual photon transfers this energy to this electron which changes its direction. So it's a useful sort of tool to be able to visualise what's going on. You can also go the second other way and look at a Feynman diagram and get the equation from it. So I know that these two have come in and those two have gone out. Okay. The reason I know the bits that come out is before and after the exchange particle has existed. So let's look at this one. This is a weak interaction. This is neutron decay. And again, same thing. Time and space. So a neutron comes in and it is the only thing that comes in, okay, and it is the thing that decays. So after that this neutron becomes a baryon, a, a proton, which is another baryon. And it is important to note that this is the sort of the baryon side here, that you have to have a line going in from baryon to baryon, this could not turn into the electron, okay, the neutron was turned into another baryon. Now the exchange particle for a weak interaction is a W plus or minus boson, and I can work out which one it is by looking at charges. So charge is something that must be conserved in all interactions. So a neutron comes in with zero charge, and a proton goes out with plus charge. So, this boson must have taken away the negative charge. So, this is the W minus boson. This boson then gives its energy to an electron and an anti electron neutrino. It's important to note, of course, the anti electron neutrino has to be there to conserve lepton number. Lastly, looking at the strong interaction. So this here is time, and this is space. I've got a proton and a pion interacting. So a proton comes in, and a pion naught comes in. And my proton changes into a neutron, and my um, pion turns into a pion plus. So the exchange particle here is either a gluon or a pion. And in this case, you can see that the positive protons come in and it's lost its positive charge. So I could say it is a pion plus. It then gives the charge to the pion naught and the pion becomes a pion plus up here. So this is how you draw Feynman diagrams. You can either interpret it from the equation to draw it or draw it from the equation.